We're here on the north end of Manchester and the Courier once again has had this great fortune of acquiring a second Frank Lloyd Wright house. And today we are the only museum in the world to own two. Coincidentally, they're on the exact same street, just three doors apart from each other. It's all about drama for Frank Lloyd Wright. When you pull into the house, it gives you this sense, a different experience from the outside world. And it is a physical experience. The sense of drama is so spot on, and I just love the way Wright uses this humble material, a concrete block, and that's the basis of so much visual expression. And it is an engineering marvel as well. I think, you know, any architect would look um, at the carport itself, which is extraordinary. Each block, concrete block, is about 200 pounds, but it almost seems to defy its own weight. It almost seems to float. And when you look at the back of the carport, it creates a picture window into the natural landscape of New Hampshire. Wright is just so sensitive to sighting. And I, I think the way with this house, the way he really molds the house, you know, he has this very hilly lot here. He's thinking about the mountains in the distance. So he's molding it over the ground and then just building it up block by block like a sculpture. At the same time, the house is kind of a shocking presence. And you can imagine how shocking it was in the 50s. This brings us to the Khalils, because apparently when they got the drawings from Wright, they were a little bit surprised, but very intrigued. Let's go take a look at the Zimmerman House, our other Frank Lloyd Wright house, the one that inspired the Khalils to contact Frank Lloyd Wright to design their home. Now we arrived at the home that Frank Lloyd Wright designed for the, uh, the Zimmermans. You can see that the home shares a lot of similarities in its overall design with this very fortified front entrance, the carport, that uh, picture window that the carport creates is, uh, with a beautiful view of the garden. But what is very different is the materials. And this is what the Khalils were shocked by. He uses in this house uh, brick, concrete, glass, and cypress. And there's this real warmth that I think you can see in the materials. And one of the beautiful things about a Frank Lloyd Wright house is that he treats these materials with just the most wonderful sensitivity and simplicity, and they are woven throughout the house. So let's go inside and take a look. Every detail was designed by Frank Lloyd Wright to create a sense of warmth, a sense of calm, a sense of happiness. One of the greatest, I think, uh, achievements in most spectacular views of this room is to the garden. And the Zimmermans loved their garden and Frank Lloyd Wright even designed the garden layout. When you got a house designed by Frank Lloyd Wright, it wasn't just the structure, but it really was about everything together. His design vision was really holistic. So he thought about the furnishings and the fixtures and its whole connection to the landscape. So here we are in the Khalil house and it's just such a different experience with the light, the grid, uh, the Khalils really wanted an oasis of relaxation. Kurt over here is taking advantage of it, I think. When the light comes through, that geometry of this window falls onto the floor, almost like a, a contemporary uh, geometric painting. And it's changing throughout the day. So light in every season is very different in this room, but also throughout the day with the light coming across, it illuminates this room in a million different ways. I agree, there's something elemental here in the way Wright frames the sunlight and air. There's also that strong modern look. Just look at those shapes and materials. You even got all that stainless steel in the workspace. What is special about both of these houses is that all the furniture that was designed for it remained in the house. Both of these houses also have had no additions 
uh, to the kitchen or to the bathrooms or to the bedrooms. Everything is original. It's an amazing time capsule looking into what modern life in the 50s was all about. You cannot experience a Frank Lloyd Wright house through pictures and video alone. It's about being inside a sculpture. It's about the experience, your body responds, your mind, your eyes, everything. All your senses are really um, perked up in this space. It's a special experience. We all hope that you will come to see two amazing structures designed by Frank Lloyd Wright on a single tour.